Hey everyone, I hope all is well. My name is Ashanti and welcome to Uniquely Ashanti's Corner. For a quick second, I forgot what to say. Anyway, as you see from the title, I am going to be talking about being a greedy Christian. Recently, a YouTuber and I don't really know how to pronounce her name. I'm going to see if I can pr not pronounce it, but put it across the screen so you guys can see it. But anyway, she wrote a post about the types of Christian related content that was being uploaded to YouTube in the year 2023. I shared the post under uh, the community tab on my page so you guys can go read it for yourself. But anyway, in this particular post, uh, she said that the most popular content focuses on how God's going to bless you materially, bring you your kingdom spouse. Um, and putting a great emphasis on the self, basically everything that God can do for us. And this YouTuber went on to say that it is important for us to seek a deeper, meaningful relationship with God just because of how wonderful and merciful he is and not just for what he can give us. It's about becoming more like Christ. And I 200 percent agree with her. The content that this YouTuber mentioned is always always trending on youtube and like she said it was happening a lot and i do mean a lot in 2023 these videos get thousands and millions of views on a regular basis because people are interested in what they can gain while it's true that we serve a god that blesses us every single day being a follower of christ is more than just seeking him only when we want something and the main issue with some of these trending videos is that it sends out the message that god's going to give without us having to do anything and in james 2 17 all verse references are from the king james version it says that faith without works is dead and also in matthew 6 33 it says but seek ye first the kingdom of god and all and his righteousness i'm sorry let me let me say that again but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you instead of putting effort into creating a list of i wants we need to put our effort into studying the word and applying the word of God in our lives. This is why it is so important to pray for discernment because there are um, there are many false prophets misleading others and they are only interested in sharing messages that are appealing to the ear rather than edifying. When a relationship is only one side, it can never ever fully blossom. A perfect example is when you are trying to build a friendship with someone if that other person is not interested in learning more about you and contributing in the relationship it will always remain stagnant when our soul focus is on material things it becomes a form of idolatry the bible tells us that god is a jealous god nothing and no one should come before him in chapter 19 of matthew it shares the story of a man who approached jesus and asked what he needed to do to have eternal life Jesus told this man that he needed to sell all that he had, give to the poor, and follow him. The sad part of the story, the very sad part of the story, is that the man walked away sorrowful because he valued his riches, the materials he had, way more than being rich in Christ. When we approach the Heavenly Father, we have to come with a humble spirit. James 4, 6 says that God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Also in James 4, 10, it says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. There is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting or having material things, but when we value it more than Christ and we tie our identity to those things, we are not being Christ-like. What we have to remember and understand is that God doesn't owe us anything, but we owe him everything, everything. Our hearts, our lives, our souls. God sacrificed his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, so we can have everlasting life. He did not have to do that, but he loved us enough to do that. 
When we go to God in prayer, we are to pray with thanksgiving, show gratitude for all that he has done and will continue to do in our lives. And in addition to that, we have to remember a very, a very important responsibility. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have as followers of Christ in Matthew 28 verses 18 through 20, Jesus said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. We are to share his word with others and encourage them to give their life to Jesus. We have to edify others so they stay on the narrow path. Because at the end of the day, it is not about us. It is about bringing God the glory and the praise. We must decrease in order for him to increase. As we are developing our relationship with God and we're making our requests known in prayer, we really need to ask ourselves if we are truly seeking to draw closer to him or are we only interested in what he can give us are we seeking and allowing christ to grow in us so we become better spiritually emotionally and mentally are we using discernment for the people that we listen to or the type of content that we ingest on social media or in books or wherever we're getting our information from is it edifying or just nice to listen to. And in addition to this, we need to ask ourselves this, what am I doing to help advance the kingdom of God? Am I asking God to show me ways that I can share his word with others? Am I asking him to grow my knowledge and my desire to seek him so I can encourage others to turn their lives to Jesus? We have to constantly check ourselves to make sure that we are on the right track and showing honor to our Lord and Savior in the right way. I hope that this video blesses and encourages those who need this reminder. It is something that we should all be mindful of. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to share your thoughts down below if you have anything to say. If you do, please refrain from profane language, even if it's an abbreviation, and please be respectful. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name, and take care.